Number 71. Given the following reactions and the corresponding rate laws, in which of the reactions might the elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? Okay. So in this case, we have one reaction, right? PCL3 plus Cl2 yields PCL5, and we are given its rate law in this case. Rate equals K times PCL3 times, PC, uh, times Cl2. Now the question is, is this elementary reaction the same as its overall reaction? Well, just know that the elementary reaction, so we'll say elementary reaction, an elementary reaction, I like to call it an elementary step, but you know, to minute to model. An elementary reaction is only a one step process. And if you're saying, as in this case, that the elementary step is going to be equal to the overall reaction, that means that in order for this reaction to run overall, it only was one step. It wasn't a two step process or a three step process. So we're saying that the overall reaction is going to be that one single step. Now, when you're only dealing with an overall reaction of one step, it's the general rate law formula, but it's a little trick. And we can only do this if we are talking about elementary steps or elementary reactions. And here's the rate law. It's this right here. Now, generally, when we do look at a rate law, right, it's usually rate equals K times the reactants raised to the orders. But when you're dealing with only a one-step process, we can assume that since it's only one equation, that those exponents are the coefficients now. So basically, they gave us a rate law, and everything should check out. Let's see. In this rate law, they said that it's rate equals k. That's pretty standard. And now, let's see if it matches this one elementary step. Well, we got PCL3 as one of the reactants. So that's PCL3, that's beautiful. We got Cl2, Cl2. So they, they included all of the reactants. Keep in mind, we don't care about the products. And now let's just see, are they raised to their coefficients? In the equation, I had one PLC, a PLC, <laughs> um, PCL3, and PCL3 is raised to the first. I had one Cl2 in my reaction, and the Cl2 is raised to the first. So everything checks out, right? And if that's the case, if it is abiding by the coefficients, we know that this is coming from the elementary step, which, in this case, can be the overall. So uh, which of the reactions might the, el the uh, elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? In this example, yes. So we'll say yes, it is the same. And that is the answer for this one. So all you got to do is just check that reaction, check the rate law, see if it matches. And yeah, there we go. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more lessons. Always keep learning. And I love talking to you guys. Well, I talk to myself <laughs> to a computer screen. But once I upload it, you know, it gets out to everybody out there. Um, but yeah, I really love helping you guys out. And I want you guys to do well. So thank you so much for coming here for your educational needs. We got physics and math videos on the channel. So go check them out. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.